And it's day four at the International Radio Festival. Good Lord, my mind, my, my, my head's really spinning. What's all been going on today? We think about a record. <laughs> Spinning. Hang on a moment. That wasn't meant to be, but since he's here, and he is the star actually of our show, of our whole festival, we've got Tony Prince here, Hello. a legend in his own time. Right here on Radio Luxembourg. It's nearly time for the English service. Will you all stay tuned there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wonder sometimes, you know, when you play the old rock and roll stuff, whether the kids who are listening today, whether they have any emotion whatsoever for it, like when I play it, it takes me back. Music transports you, doesn't it? Well, of course, the thing is, you know, your generation, a bit of my generation, we had to fight for music and we had to go out and get it. Now you can just lean back and press a button. And so you can't really blame the, uh, the generation of today that they don't know what music's all about. It's you know, actually... John Lennon said, before Elvis, there was nothing. Boy, that was some famous fanfare, but I'll tell you what, it was going to be history because things were about to change. Before Elvis Presley, the music was just mundane, you know, it was just... Well, put it this way. There weren't enough channels or mediums to hear the music that was out there. I'm sure there was good music out there, but it just wasn't critical in mass to actually want to have a radio station, I suppose. And radio really is the biggest distributor of music, isn't it? Without any question, you know. And I tell you what, it's it's actually very important to the record industry, what you, if you can call it a record industry now, because it's a source of income for them now, whereas they're not selling records because people are downloading for free. Not all of them, but most, you know, majority of people download for free. Well, and you can't stop that. you never be able to stop that. Absolutely not. The only thing you can download by us is a podcast of all our guest radios by the end of the festival. 208, hit, hit. That's what I was going to say. Never mind. Save your breath there. Wine and Roses on the RCA record label. It's a sure shot sound on your 208 transistor radio. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's have some more music now for all my lovely listeners in case you just tune in. You're late. Shame on you. Anyway, you're just in time to grab Carol Grimes and Harry Lucky. What I want to ask Tony is, is when you first heard from us and we so audaciously wrote to you and asked you to come to a radio festival, what was your first impression? I mean, what went through your head about an international radio festival? It's such a natural kind of event to bring radio together, to show people what radio is like all over the world, to celebrate radio, to show great DJs, play new music. You've got an incredible potential here. And so when I heard it was your first one, I bolted over here pretty quickly. I didn't need much persuading. I can attest to that, he didn't. Um, because I just thought, yeah, I want to see how they're doing this so I can just guesstimate whether it's got legs. Is it going to go? And I'm confident, knowing the two guys, you and your mate, who are pull it, pulling this together, you know, you're going to be, in, in five years from now, it'll be a million times bigger. It'll be very, very different than the one we see here today. But I believe you've got a winner here, and I think it's important for the radio industry. It's fantastic. Congratulations. Well... Tony, what can I say? I mean, you all know me. It's day four. I've been interrupting everybody, and uh, I've, I don't think I've ever held the microphone so long. You should, someone's be, gone. you should be a DJ now. <laughs> God bless you for listening to Tony Prince, the royal, regal, rocking ruler. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Generally, we're having a good time, only at the International Radio Festival. Be with us. Be there or be square. So here we are with Giles Peterson. First time in Switzerland for eight years. Giles, welcome to Zurich. Has it been that long? Apparently, that's what I've been reading. I do come here, but I don't come here to play. My mother lives in Lausanne, not far, on the French side. But um, yeah, it's been a while since I actually played a DJ set here, so it's really nice to be back, home of my father. Fantastic, fantastic. Listen, one question I ask everybody, when you heard about the International Radio Festival and you invited to come, what was the first thing that kind of went through your head, you know? Well, I just found out who was going to be here, and I saw that Diane Prince was going to be here, and I saw that Normski was going to be here, so that made me feel good about it. And I thought, yeah, great, I've got a little bit of local 
blood that I can connect with and I love the idea of this sharing you know what we do for a living and uh, especially meeting people from all around the world that are here as well so it's very exciting to be able to to mix and to share ideas and and you know talk about what we do to lots of people from around the world it's, it seems like a great idea <laughs> Radio has never been more exciting than now. You know, people are a little bit over TV. I think. You know, I mean, it's images everywhere, and I think that radio allows you just to get inside yourself a little bit. It's a bit like being bombarded with like banal pop music, and suddenly you can get into a little bit of my favourite things by John Coltrane. It's a least consuming, isn't it, Whitley's Radio? Least consuming. You can get on with all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, it's just good for the mind, I think. Anyway, you know, it, it works. It works in a sort of you know multitasking society. And uh, it allows you to be able to get the message across subtly to people about, you know, the variety that there is in the world of music. Beautiful. Hey, Giles, thanks a lot. Over, back. Go and do your stuff. It's not just about listen to how the world sounds, it's about listen to how Charles Peterson sounds. That's what we're here for. Stay with us. Look, I found her. Red coat. Look, I found her. Look, I found her. Damn. Red coat. Look, I found her. Look, I found her. Red coat. Look, I found her. <laughs>